Guys, a wonderful good morning from my lovely hotel room here opposite a Berlin Schönefeld Airport, which is technically not supposed to exist anymore, but I'm going to tell you more about it once I'm at the airport. But today I'll be flying Belarus flag carrier Balavia on a 737-500. And from my research, there is just only a handful of them left in service in Europe. It's a very rare bird and I mean, who has heard of Balavia? I mean, of course, a few Afghans have, but it's not a very common airline. So it is as much exotic it can get here in Europe. And I'm very excited for this two hour flight. So now let's pack up and then we're gonna head to the airport. It's gonna be a fun trip today. So I just left the hotel on my way to the airport and I can literally walk there. It's very cold in Berlin this morning, but I'm pretty excited about the flight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Feel real India in uh, Berlin. Um, well, the story about the airport, most of you probably know that this airport in Berlin, the new one was supposed to be opened uh, 10 years ago, 2012, because of a lot of floors, um, while building it especially and this is why the two old airports um, are still operating um, today so let me tell you that Berlin Schönefeld is probably one of the worst airports you could possibly um, think of but you will see and witness this uh, just in a little bit but yeah that's what it looks like So no, this is not a trash can. In Germany, when you buy a can or plastic bottle, you get uh, charged 25 cents on top, like a deposit. So when you return it at the supermarket, you get that money back. Um, but here, instead of like throwing it away, you can donate that deposit uh, by just throwing your bottle in there. And uh, you made a 25 cent donation for a good course something I like. I've noticed that. I see that at a couple of uh, airports and stations, but it's a pretty cool idea. So we have LL heading for the runway and it's not much happening here. Most of the um, planes departing from Schönefeld are EasyJet and Ryanair. Yes, and over there, I don't know whether you can see it, the jet bridge the, the jet bridge is blocking the view, but there is the Aeroflot Sukhoi uh, S100 Superjet, which uh, exclusively flies for Aeroflot and some other Russian airlines. Uh, I think there was um, a Mexican airline that flew them as well, but they've been involved in a crash last year. I don't know really remember when it had to um, return to Moscow and then it burst into flames, landing a few fatalities. Uh, but still an interesting airplane I'd like to fly. Also the check-in was uh, rather easy and you can get a visa on arrival uh, when you travel to Belarus. You can stay 90 days but only if you fly into Minsk International Airport and if you fly um, out from there. So now let's go and check out the lounge. Thanks to Priority Pass I have lounge access. So oh, I'm at the lounge here, Green Wings Lounge, which is also the only lounge you have here um, at the airport. Well, it's probably one of the worst lounges I've been to. <laughs> the new airport just over there. And yeah, if everything um, works according to plan, in October the new airport is going to open. All right, that was my quick visit to the lounge. Uh, well, it is what it is.
So guys, welcome on board the 737-500 here of Balavia, which um, is 23 years old. It has 120 seats in uh, in total, uh, 12 in economy class, uh, 12, uh, 12 in business class, and uh, 108 in um, economy class. And this plane, this plane was originally introduced to Rio something. It's like a Brazilian airlines, like in 1996. Um, that's when Germany won the Euro Cup the last time and then it has been in service with other airlines and now it's been with them for a couple of years. Um, Bolavia has four orders for the 737 MAX. Uh, we all know what happened to the MAX so that's why they operate them, operate those uh, 500 a little longer but yeah there's one of the very few remaining airlines in Europe that uh, are still um, operating um, this bird. So we're taxiing for the runway. Also, the crew has been really nice. Uh, they've been giving out candy uh, to all the passengers. Ray, let me give you a little um, seat tour. And uh, the seat pitch here is not the most generous. Um, but what I like is the very big, big cushion they used to have like 20 years ago on all those airplanes so that's very comfortable um, however you can tell that there is not much maintaining or maintenance work happening anymore um, on these planes here um, that's the foldable table also like the armrest is still like they used to have ashtrays in there um, but obviously because I moved to the very last row so it's only the lavatory behind me uh, which means uh, like I don't have a recline really matter because I have a really great wing view here on this very like stubby chubby 7275s like it's a shorter version of the regular like dash 800 um, but yeah I also look at all the uh, individual air conditioning and lamps and stack stuff um, flight is half empty I'd say uh, but yeah, we're entering the run right now, so get prepared for a beautiful view. flight also includes um, a snack and this is when get things get very exciting um, because it's I don't know I don't know what it is it seems like uh, if my Russian or my Kyrillic reading is right it probably says Penini, Brunstar and spinach roll so it might be a very Belarusian thing to eat but it's really cool like local food uh, as well as the milk uh, there's a there's a coffee yeah and also like the crew is like super super nice uh, I asked them for some more milk they said no problem um, yeah it's not like this natural like grumpiness you have in Eastern Europe I'm not saying that they're all like grumpy or such I remember there was once a really cool comment on one of my Aeroflot videos he or her said uh, if you laugh at someone in uh, in Russia you're considered uh, insane so <laughs> um, it's a different mentality there but uh, I've been to Russia Ukraine uh, 
smaller countries uh, in the Eastern Bloc many times and once you break the ice they're like the loveliest and kindest people uh, you will meet and they actually laugh as well they, they interact differently with strangers you know where in the Western world you occasionally give out a smile here or there to people you don't know uh, as an act of kindness it's a bit different in uh, in Eastern Europe it's just like a real F geek adventure this flight here is so really enjoying it it's, it's really cool I mean get to fly uh, a Dash 500 which uh, there is just very a handful of them left um, with Air Baltic a few and with Blue Air I think from Romania but generally you won't find them um, anymore and then uh, this proper Russian snacks uh, I couldn't be more more happy to be honest really enjoying this trip here in Bolivia. Uh, so I'm gonna have my coffee then I have this snack and then I'm gonna give you a comprehensive blue review so now let's see what this uh, spinach roll tastes like It's actually not too bad. I like it. It's a nice snack. I personally love spinach a lot, so for me it's not an issue, but I know there's a lot of people who don't like spinach. So welcome to the Lou review. Um, I'm sure and I assume now that this is the first laboratory review of Bolivia somewhere on YouTube. And uh, this is what um, bathroom it looks like and it has been in use for 23 years that's a lot of flights that's a lot of flushing the toilet it has seen a lot of shit <laughs> uh, funny but now this is what it's like it's uh in the back of the aircraft yeah this is the sink very old school like hot water cold water maybe you can press them at the same time oh you can there you go something floating so I don't know what that is. Yeah. No. It's definitely something new. Um, then uh, then we know from other airlines. It's cool. It's adventurous. Love it. A lot of fun. I assume there's not many tourists going uh, uh, to Minsk at this time of the year uh, because the crew was just handing out uh, immigration cards and I was literally the only one who needed one so um, yeah gonna fill that out now So, and here I am at my very Russian looking Airbnb and to summarize the flight, hands down, it is probably one of the top five flights you can do in Europe since flying within Europe is very boring, but that was really exciting. A nice old bird, a 757-500, one of the few that is left and still in service, um, will probably be gone uh, very soon as well. Love the crew, love the interior, love the whole experience. It was really a lovely adventure, really glad I came here. And on Saturday, I'll be flying the Embraer, 195 to London Gatwick um, so there will be another Bolivia review um, so if you want to check that out as well make sure you subscribe right now please give me a like that helps uh, to push my content and if you uh, haven't yet, yet subscribe and let me know in the comment section below 
what you think of today's flight and what flight in Europe you can recommend? Um, where is the, where are those little, those last little adventures, aviation adventures? Uh, where can they be found in Europe? Let me know in the comment section below because that would be very cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.